Hi there, I'm Nancy Smith from Sunburst Software Solutions. Um, I'm here to give you a quick sneak peek and advanced look at QuickBooks 2014 and the payroll center enhancements. First of all, let's hop over to QuickBooks 2013 and take a look at the payroll center as it exists today. Now I've always thought that there was just way too much stuff um, that was crammed into this one little screen. Um, I always really kind of hated it. So here is the payroll center as we've known it to be not only in QuickBooks 2013 but also older versions. Enter into the picture the payroll center in QuickBooks 2014. First you'll notice that there are now three tabs across the top for different payroll center activities. The first activity is obviously to pay your employees. Um, it still works like this always has, you know, you do your payroll schedules, um, start an unscheduled payroll, start a scheduled payroll. In addition this year is recent payrolls and it will give you an overview of the last paycheck run. Um, the status is set to complete, how many paychecks were in that paycheck run, what the gross and the net of that paycheck run was. Um, you'll also find some useful links, um, quick guides for information before you hire if you're brand new to QuickBooks and just starting to hire employees. There's also a help document or, or a quick guide for payroll tips. Um, and another one to talk about direct deposit um, and how to sign up for it and what it does. You can also click right here to go and set up your direct deposit. You can send the info to view my paycheck. There's also quick links to add employees, edit or void paychecks, print the paychecks, and create termination checks. There's also links to reports that we all frequently use, a payroll summary, um, summarize the payroll data in Excel, go off to the report center, and of course there are also um, ads for supplies and services that you can get through into it. Um, you can order checks, order labor law posters, and get workers comp quotes. However, if you're a contractor, I'd pretty much say don't even worry about getting a workers' comp quote because the last I knew, um, worker contractors weren't eligible or one of the chosen industries for the Intuit workers' comp. So let's switch to the next tab, which is pay our payroll liabilities. Yeehaw! Um, Again, I think this screen makes a whole bunch more sense. Um, here's all the taxes and other liabilities that you your business owes. Status is upcoming for the period ending. How you're going to set? How you're going to pay those those payroll liabilities, whether it's by check or e-file or online payment, and the amounts due. What I really like is the payment history. Oh my god, you know, I mean, it, it just makes sense. You know, instead of having to go and dig, it, all of this information now is right there in front of you. Again, down at the bottom, we've got quick guides to payroll tax payments. Um, again, probably more geared towards new people to payroll. Um, talk about electronic payments, how to set them up, how to pay them, uh, how to manage your, your payroll liabilities. Other actions include start paying electronically. Very nice quick little link will walk you through setting up um, electronic payments. You can also get to adjust your payroll liabilities, change your payment methods, create custom payments, deposit a tax refund, and I do want to say if you click the change payment method link it will also let you change a, a when those payments are due 
So if you had been paying monthly for your 941s and all of a sudden you were notified that you needed to start making weekly deposits, you could hit this change payment method link and change those due dates. Um, again, quick reports to payroll liability balances, payroll liability accruals and payments, and off to the report center. The last section is the file forms. This to me is like the, the, the biggest improvement of all. You're accessing everything from one group of tabs instead of having to make numerous clicks in order to get to where you need to be. But the really cool part of this is you can now hide forms that you don't fill out. So for example, a, a business owner who completes their own quarterly reports, you have absolutely no need for the 941 Schedule B for reporting agents. So you can hide it. And in order to hide a form, you click on it to select it, grab the forms drop down, and tell it make form inactive. And it comes up and tells you, you know, making it inactive just removes it from the visible list. You can always add it back in by going in and hitting that forms drop down and, and choosing to make a form active. So here we are. Now I'm going to get rid of the form 940, Schedule A for reporting agents. Again, select it, tell it make form inactive, hit OK. You know, this is this is really handy. It remembers this. So now when you get ready to do your quarterly returns, instead of having to scroll through that list and, and make sure that you're selecting the right form, which obviously can be troublesome if you're in a hurry, all of your forms are right here in front of you. What it leaves is a really nice, clean list of the forms that you need to fill out. Now, on the other hand, if you're a CPA or a QuickBooks professional who prepares the forms for your clients and you are the reporting agent, you can go and you can remove the forms that you don't need to see in this list and leave only the ones that y you need to have. Absolutely nice enhancement. Really, really happy. Um, the other thing that I like to that I really like, and I can't tell you how many times I've seen this on like the, the Intuit user forums, people saying, "Oh my God, help! I need to get a a, a copy of last quarter's 941." Okay. Yes, QuickBooks saves them for you, but you have to know where they are. You can also go the extra mile. Um, and manually save them to a folder on your machine. Um, but the thing is, you need to remember where you put all this stuff. Right here, we've got our the, the last few forms that we have, have done. And all you got to do is just double click on it, and it opens it right up. Okay, so there's our tax form. Very, very nice enhancement. Um, and it will also do this if you e-file as well. Um, of course, I don't have e-filing set up, but that's okay. This is just a test file. But either way, you can you can get quick access to those those old forms. Um, again, down at the bottom, we've got quick guides for payroll tax forms, um, electronic filing, filing W-2s. Absolutely awesome. Um, other activities manage filing methods. Um, say if you've always submitted paper returns and you're now going to switch to electronic filing, click this link. It takes you off to the payroll setup wizard. Change your filing method. Um, change your due dates. You can set it up to e-file your state W-2s, e-file a state quarterly report, and again 
links off to reports that we commonly use, you know, our payroll tax forms, worksheets, our local tax summary off to the report center. And again, you can order supplies and other services from Intuit, um, order your 1099s, order your W-2s. So here's a quick sneak peek of the absolutely wonderful overhaul of the Payroll Center coming in QuickBooks 2014. You should be able to, Pro Advisors will be able to get their hands on QuickBooks 2014 beginning Monday, September 9th. Log in to your Pro Advisor account and go to your software downloads and it should be there waiting for you. End users, you should be able to start ordering this Oh, end of September. I've heard roughly like 22nd, 23rd. For the rest of the world, um, QuickBooks 2014 will start showing up on shelves in your local stores in mid-October. Thanks again for joining. I'm Nancy Smith, um, Sunburst Software Solutions. I offer free and fee-based training through ebooks live webinars, pre-recorded webinars, one-on-one -on -one training in one to 20 hour blocks of time. You can reach me at 888-348-2877. Shoot me an email at n period smith, S-M-Y-T-H, at sunburstss.com. Visit our QuickBooks, for tr QuickBooks training website at contractor bookkeepingtips.com. Visit the QuickBooks for Contractors blog at blog.sunburstsoftwaresolutions.com. And to learn about our QuickBooks add-ons for certified payroll, AIA billing, payroll wage management included weighted average overtime, visit sunburstsoftwaresolutions.com. Thanks. Have a great day.